Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming my Slimming World update for you. So I'm just going to sit down and have a chat and talk about the last couple of weeks because um, I know um, I haven't been um, sort of uploading but I have been quite poorly. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry for that. Um, but I've got some time sort of hinge out. I've got some time um, so I thought I would have a chat. So, um, same in world. Okay, so I am now on week 73. It's Saturday today and my weigh day is a Friday so I weighed yesterday. Um, I know I didn't update you guys last week either. So, um, the last update I gave you was when um, I gained a pound. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, you know, I had some really lovely comments. Um, you know, people sort of, you know, giving me their support and, you know, saying that with everything going on, you know, it could be my medication, um, could be that I changed to weigh in at home. So, I want to thank everybody for um, their comments and that. It really made it really... Um, meant a lot to me. So the week after that I gained two pounds. Now I wasn't on plan completely um, so I was expecting a gain. Um, still you know I still wasn't happy about it because nobody is happy about a gain um, but it could have been a lot be a lot more because you know I gain big. Um, but yeah you know so um, that week um, that week I had my appointment with the um, chronic pain specialist and um, it was Valentine's week as well. It was Valentine's Day on the Wednesday and I had my appointment on the Wednesday. So I gained two pounds. Um, I'll talk about that after I've sort of brought you up to date with my weight. Um, so yeah, so that was two pounds. So then this week, which was the 23rd, yeah, 23rd, which was yesterday, um, I lost a pound and a half. So I was really, really happy with that um, because, you know, it's coming off. I've not completely lost what I gained, but, you know, I'm back up to now um, five stone, three and a half pounds lost. So, yeah, I am happy with that. I'm happy that I've had a loss at the moment. I'd be happy with any loss. Um, you know, I am still creeping towards my five and a half stone award and I will get there. Um, you know, uh, at the moment, I've got so much going on with my health that, um, you know, I'm just trying to do the best I can. So, yeah, I lost a pound and a half this week, which I was super happy with after gaining, you know, for two weeks in a row. So, um, yeah, that's that's all really with um, Slimming World. Um, so I'll just bring you up to date on what happened in my appointment. So um, we went to a different hospital, which was quite a way away from me. Um, it's not it wasn't the best place to go really because um, they were doing a lot of roadworks and you know it was really really stressful getting there anyway. Um, so. When we got there, my husband dropped me off and had to go and find somewhere to park. Um, and then got there just in time, but we were like 50 minutes waiting to go in. So at this point, my pain was really bad anyway, and the chairs in hospitals are not great. Um, and my anxiety was rocketing through the roof. Um, you know, I was, I could feel myself sort of spiraling into a panic attack. And I didn't want to do that, you know, but I've got no control over it. It just happens. Um, and, you know, the nurse was lovely. Um, you know, she kept sort of reassuring me that, you know, I wouldn't be long. And you could see that she was frustrated as well because the doctor seemed to just be taking ages. Um, so when I finally got in there, um, she had a trainee with her and... Um, she um because i had to fill in this questionnaire which i did before i went so she was looking through that she confirmed the diagnosis of fibromyalgia and um, she sort of did a little um exam she didn't make me stand up or anything she went through um asked me lots of different questions um and in the end um she then went through all my options so um you know again she basically told me there's no cure so i'm going to be living it with this for the rest of my life um but there are ways to manage it 
Um, so that's what she's been talking about to me really. I was in there quite a while, um, you know, she was going through different things. So, um, she has referred me to a psychologist, which was a bit scary when she said that, but you know, she said that I get a lot of anxiety and depression over my pain. Um, but obviously, you know, my anxiety and depression is there for other things as well. Um, but she said that the psychologist sort of on her team will be able to talk to me about the pain related anxiety and depression, if that makes sense. To be honest, I don't really understand it myself um, until I go. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's referred me to that. She's also referred me to... Um, it's a scheme where they do sort of referrals to the gym and different things um so it's like an exercise program which i'm really scared about because i'm in so much pain that just the thought of doing any type of exercise even just walking is just terrifying to me um but she said you know you, you need to cooperate and i felt like saying to her well of course i want to cooperate i'm here i want to i want to you know feel a little bit better even though I'm never going to get better um I still want to feel a bit better so yeah she's referred me to that she's also referred me to this program where in your area um there's other patients like you um well you know with your condition um you'll be able to talk to them and do courses and things to help to learn to plan and pace like pacing um so you know talking about things like you know if you're having a bit of a better day um you know if you think right well your pain is at a manageable rate your medication is working don't do too much because then you know which i still haven't learned to do and my husband gets so angry with me and you know not angry you know what i mean he's like oh you know you shouldn't be doing this because it's just gonna flare up and you're gonna be worse the next couple of days and you know i still haven't learn to do that but you know this all these things that she's referring me to will help me to do that she's also um told me to get a tens machine i thought she was going to give me one but no i've got to buy my own which is fine um just got to wait until um i get paid um, but i'm going to get a tens machine because she said that can help as well um medication wise um i'm still on my amitriptyline in the night the um, dosage hasn't changed on that because she wants to keep an eye on it um i'm still on um my deluxetine which isn't really doing anything for my pain um just help my anxiety and depression a bit um but again she's going to review that to see if the dosage needs to go up i'm now on pregabalin or lyrica um it's called one of the two um and that is for nerve pain um i've been taking it just over a week now week and a half so i've not noticed any difference um yet but who knows um i've also got this cream which is like i'm um, called capsia no capsia i can't i can't say it I'm, i'll put it on the screen um but apparently it's got extract of chili in it or something so you rub it on your skin where you know the worst affected areas so um i go do that four times a day and then it'll be reviewed and everything so I'm doing that on my hips and sort of my back area there down, you know, down um, on my buttocks because um, I get really bad pain there and then all across my shoulders and my neck. So, you know, I haven't really seen um, a massive difference with the cream yet. Um, but like I said, it's only been like a week and a half, nearly two weeks now. So you've got to give things a chance to work. So, um that's really had a knock-on effect on me for when um like my weigh in and when i gained two pounds so like i didn't really sort of think about it at the time i was like right well i was expecting this and you know the way she talked to me and and different things and she was really really lovely they she also gave me some more tramadol um and yeah it's just she was lovely she explained everything um but i think it hit me harder than i realized at first um you know thinking that this is for life i've got to live with this forever um and all these different places that i'm being referred and um 
you know, different sort of investigation things. I've had a letter today um, to say I need to ring to book um, a CT scan. I've never had one of those, so I don't really know what that involves. Um, but I don't know where that's been requested from, if it's been requested from the rheumatologist or whether it's been requested from um, the chronic pain. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that I need to sort of think about. Um, and I've had a letter through, because after four weeks I have a telephone consultation with the chronic pain specialist team. So they will talk to me over the phone rather than having to go for another appointment, which is good because, you know, I don't really want to keep going back and forth the hospital, but I know that's going to sort of be in my future. Um, so they will ring me, have a chat with me, ask me how everything's going, and then they can sort out any medication review over the phone. So yeah, that's bringing it all up to date. And basically that's why I've been struggling. Um, Cause like I said, it hit me harder than I thought. Um, yeah, I don't want to get upset because you know, I seem to do that a lot on my videos, but it's just, you know, it hit me hard. And you know, you know, when, somebody tells you something or you find something out or whatever it is and you think right okay you know I knew that was coming you can kind of be like right and then it sort of sunk in I think the next day it was like okay you know this is this is it kind of thing and you know I don't want to be defeatist I don't want to be negative but you know obviously with my anxiety and my depression sort of floating around in the back of my mind and you know it's just yeah it's not good but I'm gonna try all these things that the doctor has suggested and you know I will you know bring you along with me on that journey as well because you know this is gonna be this is gonna have a big impact on my life you know with Simming World I am doing the best I can um so yeah that week it was kind of like I wasn't really on plan that much this week. Um, I don't know whether it's the medication I'm taking, um, the pregabalin, that's the only new thing that I'm taking. But it seems to have taken my appetite away. Um, I was worried when she said she was giving me that drug because, um, you know, I'm on um, fibromyalgia groups on Facebook and I've done research and, um, you know people have said that they've gained a lot of weight and that's the last thing I want because you know I'm in agony now my pain is is really bad and has got worse since I've lost the weight you know I don't want to think what it would be if I put you know either a couple of stone or all that weight back on but you know I can recognize that a drug in itself won't make you gain weight um <laughs> It's the fact that it increases the color of my noses. Oh gosh. Um, but yeah, uh, it's the increased appetite. Now I'm not feeling that hungry and I'm worried as well, sort of anxiety again, um, that the pound and a half that I've lost this week is because I haven't been eating, um, you know, from like it started around Tuesday or Wednesday after I'd been taking it for about a week and um, Wednesday I only had one meal and then Thursday and like Thursday I had what did I have Thursday I had one meal I didn't get up till late and I had a um, nice meal I had a jacket potato with my leftover campfire stew and some lettuce and butterhead lettuce butterhead lettuce leaves um and i had that um and that was all i had um in the evening then when my husband came home from work um i wasn't hungry really i was kind of a bit peckish um but what i did was because i didn't have my sins or my healthy extras or anything on the wednesday so on the Thursday, I made sure that I had my healthy extras and sins. So I had um, 350 mils of milk, um, skimmed milk, 
and I made myself a cold coffee which was really nice um, put some squirted cream on the top which was one and a half sins and then I had all my sins then um, in sort of treats then and maybe that's not the right way to do it but you know I felt satisfied I didn't want any more food and I knew that I'd had at least had one meal with some free food some protein and some speed and I had my sins and I had my healthy extra so yeah that was that then f yesterday I had I made overnight grape nuts and I put some chia seeds in as well um, you know just to up my fiber a bit more because I'm having too much information but I'm having trouble with um, my um, toilet needs then um, I'm sort of fluctuating between one or the other so you know what I mean it's either too much or none um, and I thought maybe having a bit more fiber would help um, so I think I'm going to do that because one level tablespoon, which is loads, I think is one and a half sins. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that. So I just mix it in with a cork. I did do it in the morning because it was sort of an afterthought. But when I have my overnight breakfast now, I'm going to mix it in the night before. So I had that. Um, and then I didn't have any lunch. And then I did have a takeaway when my husband came home. It was way day and um you know he'd had a hard time in work you know a hard week um and a stressful week and you know so we had a takeaway but you know i'm back on plan today i've not eaten anything yet but i am gonna have some lunch after this so yeah what i'm trying to say is my appetite is is going um you know and i'm a bit afraid that it's going to then come back with a vengeance and it's going to affect the scales, it's going to affect me losing weight and that's the last thing I want. Um, but yeah, I can't do anything about it if I need these drugs, these med this medication, you know, to, because she said that after four weeks, they're probably going to put it up, um, you know, increase the dosage because they start you low and then bring you up to see if that helps with the pain. So, yeah past that um some good news some exciting news which i because i haven't been on i haven't had a chance to tell you um i am actually being taken taken away for a couple of nights next week now you all know should all know by now that i love 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 harry potter it's one of my passions it's my hobby i love it you know there's my t-shirt i've got my um blanket here and there's lots of different things around the house and you know I'm building my collection or trying to I am being taken away to the studio tour in London in Watford um, my husband surprised me Valentine's Day he sorted it out ages ago like ages and ages ago um, he wanted to book it around Valentine's Day but it was um, fully booked so we are going to the tour on Monday the 3rd no Monday Saturday the 3rd of March we're going up on the Friday so we're going to leave really early on the Friday so that we can go into London um, I am a bit sort of anxious about it um, I will have my walking stick so that will make things a bit easier you know but my husband said don't worry about it we will take our time if you need to sit if you need to rest there's no rush so yeah I'm really excited about that but I am really anxious because there's a lot of people around and you know I'm but I think it might, I think it'll do us both good, you know, after everything that happened, you know, last year with Cleo, I don't want to get upset again, um, but, you know, losing Cleo and my health and everything else, I think that it would be really nice for us to get away, so, yeah, Kat is going into the kennels where we always, always take them, and, uh, yeah she's going in the day before and then on the friday we're gonna leave really really early and then leave our luggage either in the car park it's where we always stay it's so lovely there i'll take you along with me and you know maybe i'll try vlogging <laughs> um when i'm out and about but i will definitely do that so i'm really really excited we're coming back on the sunday 
and um, yeah so I am really looking forward to that and it'll do us both the world of good I'm sure it will um, but yeah so I'm really sorry that this is long again I didn't want it to be <sighs> but um, that's just that's just me and I just like to have a really nice long chat with you um, let you know everything that's been going on um, I haven't filmed a food diary for the last three days because you know I'm doing them in um, two three days now two three days two three day um, videos because I just think it breaks it down a lot better rather than doing them every day I think that you know that seems to be working at the moment but I haven't filmed them simply because I've just not been eating I did film as I was going along um, and I can by all means upload um, you know what I filmed if you would like me to that's not a problem just let me know um, but I've not really been eating so you know I'm gonna try and do what I can um, yeah so I also um, won Avetka's giveaway um, and I received my little um, gift my prize in the post um, a couple of days ago so thank you so much Avetka um, and yeah I was super happy to have won because I never win anything and um, you know I didn't comment on it to you know to be to, to say right well you know I, I'm just commenting to win you know I really enjoy watching her channel um, I'll link her channel down below um, but yeah, you know, and I really enjoy watching um, her channel, watching her videos and seeing her channel grow. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. It's a planner. I should have showed you really, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit all over the place. But yeah, so that was really nice. I received that in the post. So that was something sort of to bring my spirits up a bit. Um, food wise, um, I made a mushy pea curry, which I haven't really eaten much of, um, and I am going to make the, or I'm going to try, oh, some birds, um, I'm going to try and make the tomato soup today. I think I've got all the ingredients, you know, the one with the pickled onions and everything. I'm going to make it, but not tell my husband what's in it, because he won't eat it, <laughs> and see if he will. Um, but yeah, so... I'm gonna go now thank you so 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 much for watching guys as always it really means so much to me I'm so sorry about getting upset and crying and oh, I'm just frustrated and you know I know that you guys are going to understand um, you know and I just I just wanted to fill you all in you all in fill you in on what's been happening um you know i'm not going to go into too much more detail with that you know because i know that um it has been requested that um i do a separate video on my journey with fibromyalgia chronic pain and everything else that i've been going through so i will do that separately um yeah so thank you so so much and you know if you're not subscribed already uh, press the button down below come along on my journey with me we can support each other along the way um, you know support is always good I think on any kind of journey that you're taking um, you know if you have a chronic illness if you have fibromyalgia anything you know or if you if you're just not if you're not well then you know I can support you in that as well and you know maybe come along and subscribe and you know we can support each other in that regard as well um so yeah thank you so so much i am going to be i think by the time this update goes up my giveaway video will be up as well so um you know get get subscribing so that you can be in with a chance of winning um all those um bits and pieces that i've got i'll link the giveaway video up here so yeah i'm gonna go now for about 25 minutes i really am sorry guys but you know what i'm like oh look at my fringe <laughs> um but yeah you know what i'm like i like to have a um have a ramble and have a chat with you all so yeah you know love to you all and i will see you in my next one bye everyone